guys, so happy you are here. Today I'm going to be sharing with you 10 Chrome extensions to help you with school and working at your computer or your laptop. These Chrome extensions I have been using for about a year now, maybe longer than that, and I love all of them so much. So I will be giving you a short description of what they are and I'll link them all down below for you. So let's get started. Also, it would mean so much to me if you would subscribe, leave a thumbs up and a comment, and I would love for you to join the community. Okay, now let's talk about Chrome Hey guys, so it is a day later, um, a couple days actually, since I filmed my intro, but I am here with the Chrome extensions, and the first one is called MyVib Citation, which is a citation generator for any format that you are writing your essay in. I use the MLA format on there because that is what my teachers um, prefer for me to use. And honestly, it is the best thing ever. I can click on a website that I'm using for research, click the My Bib button in the top right corner, and it will cite an in-text citation and a works cited citation for me. And all I have to do is copy it. It is the best thing ever. So if you do a lot of essays and a lot of research essays or anything that you need to use online sources for, the MyBib Citation Generator is going to help you so much. So it will be linked below. Next is Mercury Reader. Okay guys, Mercury Reader allows you to remove ads off of any article that you are reading. So I don't know if you guys have ever used the myhistory.com um, website but there's always a ton of ads on it. And when I'm writing a history essay or a research essay and I'm using that website, for example, so many ads that get in the way and I can't really focus on what I need to read. So I click the Mercury Reader and it clears away all the ads and just gives me a simple view of the article that I'm reading. So if you have anything, even if you're just looking at an online recipe and there are so many pop-up ads, you can use a Mercury Reader and it will get rid of all of those for you. The next one is Dual List. Now this one will split and merge your windows and tabs on your computer, which I find super helpful because if I'm trying to look at this thing or type something while I'm looking at another thing, I'm not having to switch through tabs or separate them and measure them out perfectly. There's literally choices for me to which way I want them to go and everything, which I'll put a picture here so you can see what I'm talking about. And honestly, it's a lifesaver, so if you want help with splitting your windows for school research also, this is a great website to use. Next is Speechify, which you can get a premium version of a lot of these Chrome extensions, um, but I don't have any of the premium versions for them and they all work really well for me. For Speechify, there is a premium version just to choose a different voice to read things to you. I realize I forgot to mention what Speechify does. <laughs> Speechify allows you to just listen to any website. So you can click on um, the little thing in the corner and it will play and it will start to read to you the article that you are reading online or whatever you're reading online, which I find super helpful to help me maintain my focus and to read along with it. So. Yeah, that's what Speechify is. The next one is one that I have been using for so long and I really like this one. This one is called Weva Highlighter and what it allows you to do is make highlights on any PDF download that you have or a website that you're looking at and you can even save those highlights into different folders on the little Chrome extension tab which I find super helpful. So this is just another great one. Most of these Chrome extensions are really helpful for school or research because if you're trying to keep track of highlights for all the research project, you can do that by putting it in a folder on your Weva account and it's just super helpful. So if you would like to be able to do highlights on anything, <laughs> download Weva. A fun little Chrome extension that I have added is Coffee Links, and it is a personal journal slash mood tracker that you have on your desktop, and I find it really nice to be able to look back at my overall year and just see how my overall days went and look at these little journals. And honestly, it has been super uplifting for me. I'll sometimes have a bad day and I'll think that every day is a bad day. But then when I look at these, I realize, oh, I've had like 10 amazing days, you know, in a row. And that was really great. And to just change my mindset to focus on the more positive things 
and I find it really enjoyable. So if you want a simple, fun mood tracker on your desktop, I really recommend Coffee Links. Honestly guys, I have no idea <laughs> what has been wrong with me. I have not been keeping up with filming, but here I am. I am filming this and I am finishing the video today. Nothing is stopping me. Okay, you ready for the next Chrome extension? Because <laughs> I am. <laughs> All right, guys, the next Chrome extension is called Momentum, and I am in love with this Chrome extension. It makes my desktop so much more aesthetically pleasing with a cute little, I'll put a picture here so you can get an idea of what it means. See how it changes the background and you get a new picture every single day, as well as the time and a little main focus spot on your computer. Um, and it also gives you a to-do list in one of the corners. So you can type out your to-do list digitally they're on your desktop and you can see it with easy access. Now, if you're a person who really prefers to keep things purely digital and have everything on your computer, this is a great way to do it because that way you can just have your to-do list and your main focus there. You can even keep your bookmarks there. Everything's there. So I love using Momentum and if you want to use it, give it a try. Remember, everything's linked below. Another great Chrome extension is called Picture in Picture, which honestly, I love using because if you're watching something while you're doing something on your computer you can keep the picture from youtube so the video will show on the side of your screen and you can be moving around between tabs and everything while still watching whatever you're watching or listening to whatever you're listening to and you can just see it visibly there and i think this is a really great chrome extension you can be watching this video as you're typing out your to-do list for the day that's a thing so yeah <laughs> okay guys so you have heard me talk a lot about the pomodoro technique how it's 25 minutes of focus and then a five minute break i talk about it all the time i definitely recommend this if you're someone who's struggling with managing your time and overcoming procrastination or if you're somebody who just doesn't like to sit down for hours working on one thing pomodoro technique is what i recommend to basically everybody now, I have a Chrome extension that sets a timer for you and tells you when to take a break. It is called Focus To Do Pomodoro Timer, and this is a Chrome extension, of course. And what it allows you to do is it sets up something like this, and it is a timer, and it clicks, and it goes, and then when it's done, it will ding, and then it will tell you to click for the five minutes. And you can keep a to-do list on there as well. It's a really great way to help you manage your time. Next is Grammarly. If you have heard of Grammarly, which I'm pretty sure you have, I've seen ads for it pretty much everywhere. Um, Grammarly helps you with your grammar, punctuation, everything that you need when writing an essay. Now, at first, kind of interesting, I didn't even know that it was a Chrome extension. I didn't download it on my computer at first, um, but then I realized it's a Chrome extension. Interesting fact. Anyways, um, <laughs> I've been using Grammarly since the eighth grade. I'm currently now a senior in high school <clears throat> and it has been of tremendous help when it comes to writing essays and just making sure that I'm getting my point across clearly and effectively. So if you are someone who struggles with grammar and you want to make sure that you're doing it right, Grammarly is a great resource for you to use. And that's it guys, those are 10 Chrome extensions to help you be more productive in school. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please remember, none of these are sponsored. I was not told to share these with you. These are just sources that I found that I find extremely helpful and wanna make sure that you guys are succeeding in life. So I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I love you and I'll see you next time. I literally cannot believe that that video took me so long to film. It was literally the fastest <laughs> thing ever and it took me like three days oh well